Oh man, what's that? What's that one called? Uh, cartoon rap AI. <laughs> yeah, it's Is hilarious. It any good? It's funny. I don't know if it's good, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, some of the voices are a little, little wack. Like the Daffy Duck one, it sounds like the guy. Uh, like you can tell that it's an impersonation, like voice. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. But it, it sounds they don't like, have, like the actual copyrights to the real voice. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. So like the guy, you can tell like the guy is like impersonating. He's all like super nasally and stuff, and yeah, <laughs> it's just hilarious. Too. It's like a Filipino. Uh, Daffy Duck or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great though. The SpongeBob is the best, like the, the closest best. one. Yeah, it's the closest one to Sponge, SpongeBob. But they're having the whole movie ones now. The movie ones are cool. You can like uh, upload a script, and uh, and the AI will create the movie for you. Have you ever thought about the grand cosmic play unfolding around us, and questioned who pulls the strings? What if we told you there's an entity? a grand cosmic coincidence control center that could be orchestrating this all. Welcome to the alternative plotline of the web series Dude Where's My Wallet, a tale that revolves around a group of unconventional conspiracy theorists who stumble upon the existence of the Earth Coincidence Control Office, or ECCO. This isn't just any group, but a motley crew of thinkers who believe that ECCO is an advanced entity, subtly manipulating the course of human events. Their discovery leads them to a peculiar machine, one that can detect subtle shifts in the fabric of reality, a telltale sign of ECO's interventions. Driven by curiosity, they tinker with the machine, hoping to predict the next cosmic intervention. Unbeknownst to them, they begin to dance to the tune of ECCO. It's a grand scheme. They see patterns, connections in everything around them, and the line between coincidence and control starts to blur. But the question remains, is ECCO a benevolent cosmic puppeteer or something more sinister lurking just beyond the edge of our reality? In a twist of fate, a band of rogue hackers enters the scene. Their mission? To infiltrate ECCO and gain access to its advanced technology. What they uncover, however, is a vast network of cosmic entities, and they soon realize that ECO is just one cog in the wheel of a larger cosmic scheme. Their journey takes them on a quest to the galactic coincidence control, a place where the secrets of the universe lie. But they tread a treacherous path. Dark forces are at play, and the line between reality and fantasy begins to blur. This alternative plotline of Dude Where's My Wallet is a journey through cosmic conspiracy and intrigue. It is a tale of those who dare to question the fabric of reality and venture into the unknown. Will they unlock the secrets of the universe or get lost in its vastness forever? Only time will unravel this cosmic mystery. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. That's kind of like how the, the Flickr thing is. It's, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the first time I used it, right, I, I was putting it in stuff, and then I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool, and then so I, so I put more stuff in. And then I didn't know that, like, having like it was coming like to me fast like all these ideas and then and then i noticed like hey it's kind of changing what i'm writing and like well you know when i first initially put it in i thought it was just like you know taking it like straight up and then it was like slightly changing it i'm like no dude, that's not how you do it and then i started changing it <laughs> to say and then I'm rewriting the script and then i was like oh shit because like later um i found like this way the free one is like you know basic right and you could do stock footage or you could do oh ai art or whatever and so i had to generate art for me right like and then i and then i noticed because i was playing around with it that like to have like a, it says uh, beta uh do you want us to an animate like uh the image and i'm like okay let me try that and I, so then i just kind of like went crazy and like was uploading my my own stuff and then I'm like animate that animate that and, <laughs> and then like later I was I was even messing around with the voice stuff. I was actually like um, like ripping it from the site itself, so it didn't have the watermark. <laughs> I was doing all this shit, and then like later, I was like, oh. I, I was gonna say something about the watermark too, because the, the, even the uh, even the Giphy, like the uh, the crown one or whatever it was, uh, the uh, the one we used to play with. Yeah. Uh, 
it's crown now i think it's called but yeah that one like they've enlarged their fucking watermark to like a oh. whole corner of the picture <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's because crazy. there's this, there's this other one too that I was playing with and like the free version that has like a watermark right in the middle. And I'm just like fuck mm. I get, like I I like Why? it because because like the voice is actually better on that one. So I'm just like I don't need you to put the video I could do my own editing. <laughs> so I'm just thinking in my head like that, but I was like some of this stuff was pretty cool and I was just like, "Oh, I wish it didn't have like the watermark." But it's this is not worth Whatever it is to pay for, for the stupid thing. Have any of y'all played with the uh, Sora or what the no? I just seen one it. video clips. I I don't know. I don't know. That's the script it. one, right? Where you put the script in. Yeah, you just uh, tell it what yeah, to make a video yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I was playing. Like one, you just put a script in and it makes one, a movie. Up to one minute video clips. Yeah. That thing's weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it uh, make a space, uh, like a space clip, and like it was so fucking trippy. Like, and it was more like the screen, like our TV screen, instead of space. <laughs> like that's what. That's <laughs> kind of <trippy>, dude. <laughs> that's, um, some of, some of the the stuff that I was doing was um the mescaline bar on luna <laughs> and um it was kind of funny because like some of them were pretty cool but like so i got to i got to the end of i guess like my credits but the way i was doing it i don't think they were registering my credits right away <laughs> because then i i tried rendering some audio and they're just like oh you don't have enough credits and i'm like oh really and i'm like and then i was like oh let me go check like what are what's the credit shit and then i'm looked and they said, um, like, if you write a review, they'll give you, like, uh, you know, more, like, six minutes worth of credit. And so I did two reviews, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why don't I, ha like, why can't I use it, right? I, I, I do one, and then I, then I do another review. And then I'm like, fuck, give me my, my credits. They said it, like, accepted it. And, but I think it's it's counting all those um, animations that I did. <laughs> then I was just like, oh, yeah. this is cool. Let me just, like, do it rapid fire, right? <laughs> So it wasn't it, like it didn't like add those into like the initial when they like cut me off because like every time I, I get more credits it says like I used them all. And <laughs> like, <laughs> That's it's, funny. <laughs> it's just like hold on, we, we we're still catching up, bro. Yeah, we're this, still this catching time up. Just went crazy the first day. <laughs> We haven't we haven't seen it been used that way before. We're gonna have to like change things because of the way this guy used it. I was like, oh my God. right, like they're just like wait, 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 hold on, man, hold on. Yeah, yeah. He's, so on, try... he's on he's on the free one, but he's using it like a pro. You know, like it's like, it's like we're yeah. we're using too much of rendering for this guy. <laughs> No, I just tried to have a conversation with the chat GPT, and it's uh -huh. like, I can't talk about that because it's too political, and it's not been verified, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah they've locked that bitch down, dude. Yeah. Like, if you don't I was have talking about scripts. correct grammar, quantum <laughs> grammar. You were know, talking about quantum grammar, and it said that? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it has not been verified. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Why would it be verified? <laughs> yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't used uh, what called anything really in a while. Uh, just just that video thing. But it's funny because like they're they're using like it's I used like probably three different texts to um, video apps that are right now. You know, they can use for free basically. Um, um, but like, it's kind of funny because of like, they're all using the chat GPT, you know, and like, mm -hmm. it's just like what they're combining together. It's like, okay, we're going to use Dolly and the ta the text together and then have like a real simple like editing. And I just remember like, <laughs> like looking at it, I was like, you guys are not, it's like not really like, because they're, they're, they're saying like text to video, but then like what it's actually doing is like a little different, you know? It's 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 picture. They're stitching pictures together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a millisecond picture that yeah, they're stitching. Yeah, because that's yeah. what they're do. Like it's like they're 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 doing a uh, like they're sequencing gifs together. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah but it's funny when <laughs> it goes. Which is so fun, but yeah, like it's, because it's it not, goes like it's weird, like you know, like it goes in different directions. Like, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's it's still hard to like, because I have like what one of the the videos that I was using in that latest edit. You, you saw how there's like not, like one of the scenes it morphs into is like it's nothing but hands or arms or something. It's like really yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one that I was, yeah, that was the one that I was a little uh, a little like thinking about. Yeah, you know, like wait, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get uh, we guess we start doing shows again, man. We'll yeah. Start hanging out and recording again. How you been, Bob? <laughs> I have been very good. <laughs> I have been very good. I have been, um, well, I went to South Africa for a while to visit my folks. Oh, cool. And I took a whole lot of little bits of video there, and I've just been making myself a documentary movie. Nice. That's a whole whole new level of, like, intensity. You, you got you, you to gotta promote it on your token, man. Dude, I've just got to learn how to do that. <laughs> I'm going to deploy it onto the yeah. blockchain. Like the, you dropped the prices. Was it you that dropped the prices? No, not me. No, I, no, I don't have control over that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One day. <laughs> Uh, I, I can control the ETH board if I want to, but that's about it. <laughs> how how is uh, Mit Me? I haven't been on there in a while. Like, well, you know, it's uh, I mean, it's it is it is what you make it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's you know because like the whole the whole thing is like I don't think a lot of people get that it's about. You know, it's about your project, right? It's about your token, your project, and about raising funds for what you yeah. want to do. And so, like, it's what you make it. If you if you use the I token just... and you promote it and you like and you're making posts and you can lock them and all that kind of stuff and you get yeah, especially if you're like sharing your token with your friends and stuff, man. Like, well, I went out to. I don't know. It was, it was someplace with my girlfriend. Yeah, she took me. <laughs> but like, there was like a bunch of other parents, and like, so we were just talking about crypto, and I was uh, shared them my token. Some of them like yeah. even like just donated some ETH to me, and then I haven't touched it since. I'm just like logged off. They're just like, oh yeah, I can, I can give you some ETH. I don't use it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, like, so like it is what you make it, but it, like the whole the prices of it, they, I don't know. They need to do something with the coin boards. Mm -hmm. They need to even those out and you know, everything. Like I like as I said, like the ETH board. Like I can literally run the each ETH board if I wanted to and just like game the hell out of it all day mm -hmm. if I want to. Right. Because I just right. had the ETH and the me to do it they're not balancing it out at all so they're not like they don't have like a big structured buyback and i think it's because they want the users to do it and they want the users to bid on it and stuff but like they should have at least like a minimum buyback i think but that's just my opinion i want to see some games on here which they said they'd work on yeah and i want to see the swaps come which they said they're working on but like what's the swaps they're saying like the one thing that i've noticed they're saying is like well all the most of the you know it's still we're not putting that much into marketing because it's, we want to we, we don't want to be like that corporate like they don't want to go too corporate or whatever they want to keep their blockchain independent so they're not marketing that which i just don't understand as a marketer it doesn't make sense to me Fucking market the fuck out of your blockchain and then go from there. Hmm. It is what you make it, man. Like it's nice because like you can you can do the store items and stuff now and uh the bounties and all that kind of stuff. So like if you have a token and a store, you could you could literally like accept their own tokens at your own shop if you wanted to now. Yeah. They still have some work. Harder, you know? 
you can read the book about how to do it you can learn all the traffic rules and whatever but when you get in the car and you turn the key suddenly everything's different you know you've got <clears> your hands working and your feet working and your eyes working and you use the mirrors and um, <laughs> and you just slam into a wall <laughs> yeah oh, it's, it's just fine. not fine with it like it's, it really is like once like that's why i said like you should play with like the posting and like the referrals and you should just play with things before you launch it like just play with everything play with buying your token play with selling your token play with posting with it like before you put it on the blockchain you should play with it a bunch and like get a feel for what you're doing with it <clears throat> some of your coins yesterday do better Maybe. Then I tried to uh, buy some of yours, Satori. There was about twenty different uh, there, and I, I looked through them all to get the cheapest one, and I thought this is the one for me. And I clicked on it, says you have not reached the minimum order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the minimum order right now is like three or four hundred met me or something. Oh, we yeah. gotta spend like four hundred or five hundred met me at a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just gotta figure it out. And I think that I, I think that what I need to do. Oh shoot, doesn't matter. I, I need to buy some met me. I think. Oh, I don't buy it. anything. Don't buy yeah. anything. No, I'll give you. I wish that would have. Mimi, don't buy any. Well, <laughs> buy some of Bob Dub's coins so she has mint me. And then she yeah, can... yeah. Like I will give you Mimi that. if you need think, me. Yeah. Well, if I could just remember how to do it, because you spent a whole hour <coughs> telling me how to do it, and then I, I still couldn't get it right. Then I felt too damn stupid to put to get to hold you. You know. Well, I'll spend thing. all day. I, I'll spend all day talking to you. Really? We can just we, we can just hang out in this room and we can talk about how to get your token straight. I don't have anything to do tonight or tomorrow, so whenever you want. To. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm in. If I know what I'm doing, then I'll start getting people to make their coins. Yeah, you can yeah, relay that yeah, information. Exactly. Like, like, well, at least you'll know how to, how to operate your own coin. Then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I operate my own coin. And then you yeah. can teach me. Yes. And Rush, <laughs> and Otto, and Roger yeah, Hanson, yeah. and yeah, Vince, yeah. and Julian. I've got a yeah, list yeah. of people that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean the, the more the merrier i'm always like you know I, I i i can spend all day with you all night with you whatever you want because i'm available i'm happy to help you with it i want to get people straightened out with their with their tokens because like that's a, like it's all about your projects and everything like me and satori we do our projects always end up like running into each other <laughs> so so like we just decide to all work together all the time so like because we, we always run into each other anyways so it doesn't matter <laughs> but like uh, the tokens is like you know start being able to have your own thing and doing your own projects and yeah supporting others and like